The big chill setting upon the city this morning. Scarves, hats, gloves, everything, <laughs> coats. Despite record challenging sub freezing temperatures, some still needed to be reminded winter is coming. You're wearing shorts? Yeah, I don't care. This is too cold for shorts. That's not. Aisha Saeed from Queens dressed for summer while the rest of us dressed for the North Pole. Is this how you always dress? Yeah, actually, it literally is. <laughs> All through the winter? Yeah. Roberta Chan wishing she were back home in Mexico while trekking to work in the city this morning. I miss my Cancun. Cancun, you know, Cancun is warm, always warm. But other New York commuters were ready to tackle the temperatures and whipping winds. What I do is I layer up. I'm actually wearing two sweaters. I'm wearing a coat. I have two scarves around my neck. I have two hats. You have to layer up. And is that keeping you warm? It's helping. But not enough. Not enough. Wicked wind chills could send the real feel diving throughout the day, possibly into teen territory. That has NYCHA cold weather teams on standby with mobile boilers across the boroughs in case of any more outages, like last night at the Lincoln Houses in East Harlem. It's pretty cold, but I keep the windows closed and I have a really thick blanket, so I will suffice until the heat actually comes through. Come through heat, isn't that the name of the game? Today, uh, the temperatures uh, are expected to continue to uh, dive as the wind blows. Uh, the high temperature today only reaching above freezing. If you see anyone who's vulnerable or homeless in the city, a code blue is in effect. Uh, so you can call 311 to get them uh, the help they needed. If you think about all this cold, uh, just think again because winter, we haven't even gotten there yet. Still about a month away. Reporting live here in Times Square, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. All right, Anthony, thank you.